Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I realized that we... No! Animal Kingdom bus. Poop. Um, I noticed, or I remembered, that we did not sign off last night at all. We didn't say anything. So last you saw us, we were at the Christmas tree trail. And it was a Christmas tree trail fail. Trail fail. <laughs> it was a trail fail because it was so insanely crowded that we couldn't really enjoy the trees too much. So we're going to be going back on a weekday night sometime where we can just kind of mosey at our own pace and hopefully be not jammed up with Last others. Last people. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not a super large area to begin with and then when you have everybody like Taking pictures and taking pictures back. and backing up without taking a look around them. It gets a little hectic. So crazy. We did that. Then we came back to the resort, ate a late dinner at um We <laughs> left out like an hour and a half of our trip back to the We resort. did. Okay, so <laughs> everywhere we looked, so we're not familiar with with Port Orleans Riverside. This is the first time we've stayed here. Um, so we wanted to take the boat back here from Disney Springs. Um, however, everywhere we read, it said the marketplace, like the new marketplace, which to me means like the landing near, um, uh, either way, that ended up being Par just- Paradiso 37. Yes. So that one just ended up being for um, Saratoga Springs and Old Key West. So then we went down to the original marketplace, and um, oh, looks like we might make it. Awesome. Nope. We're not nope. Just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> then we kind of took a detour down to the other one, hoping that it would be there. Was not. No. So we just decided to take the bus back after that because it was either that or walk all the way to the other <laughs> other boat and if place. it forbid the boat was not going to be there yeah. i was just going to sit there for us at night so not going anywhere we'll yeah. sleep here so that was our night what was good if we got back got some food we got some dinner then we came back and had an early night to sleep because we were still kind of tired from our being up at 2 a.m. and being out late the other night so yeah now we're off to Animal Kingdom this morning and we just missed the Dern bus. The Dern bus? And now we have to wait for another bus. Another Dern bus. <sighs> All right good morning and greetings from Animal Kingdom. Jumbo! Jumbo. <laughs> we are heading in. They're scanning our bands because it's extra magic hours. And we're gonna run, right, Dan? Yeah. Just kidding, we're not. We're not those people. We're not those people. Good morning, Tree of Life. Good morning, Tree of Life. <laughs> oh, they have the walls down over there, that's nice. Yeah. So that thing has that area all walled off. Now it is open. It's open for life. For life. <laughs> Until the next construction. Oh, look at all the cute Christmas decorations, all like Arctic animals. Yeah. In keeping with the theme of the Arctic animal puppets we get to see. Yeah. Literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Looks like they've already dropped the rope for us to walk over to Pandora. That's they usually do pretty early anyway. Yeah. Our flight on our banshee was successful. We did it. We probably waited just a, a little under the like designated yeah, time. Yeah, around an hour and a half. Yeah. I mean, there. we don't mind doing it early in the morning. We just basically use our entire extra magic hours for it, and we're fine with it. <laughs> um, we have a fast pass. Well, we had a fast pass for Everest coming up next, but it turned to a multiple experience fast pass because Everest must be down so we'll probably use it later on it if when it comes back up yeah. if and when it comes back up um if when then yeah. we'll use it for something silly like I don't know, it's a bug's life 
<laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so now we are going to try out the breakfast bowls at Yak and Yeti. We've never had them before. And we're hungry. And we are starving. Um, we found bad. So we met this really nice family in line. We were talking to them the whole time. Which really made the line go by quicker yeah, too because yeah, we were like just chit chatting with them. And they were <laughs> they were really excited about the ride. And we talked it up too because we love it. Yeah. And the poor guy, the dad, <laughs> he ended up getting sick. Uh, but he still, I think he still enjoyed it for the most part. At least the, mo <laughs> the mom enjoyed it a lot. She yeah. said, that was so cool. So we're glad that that he's doing okay now because we just saw him a little bit ago and he, I was, we were like, you okay? He, thumbs up. he goes, I'm all right. <laughs> so that was good. So. Hopefully he doesn't ruin his day. I know. He looked like, maybe once he got the fresh air, it was a little bit better, but just kind of. I know, but that motion sickness, sometimes that lingers with you like all day. Oh yeah. Dan has it too. So he, he understands and can relate. Well, it's um, like my, my dad the one time when we were in, we had to go to the festival of the Lion King. Yes. <laughs> So, so we had to get wet, go sit in Festival of the Lion King, and then he was a good actor. Yeah, it was like a really, really rainy day, and then we went and sat in the freezing cold of um, Festival of the Lion King. After that, Dan's dad was fine. Good. It was like the coldness good. just like... <laughs> reset everything. <laughs> reset. So, hopefully he'll be alright. At least it's a cool day today and not hot. Yeah, if it was like if 90 degrees out. If it was hot out, out it, I mean, it would probably not end well for anybody, but... Um, it's actually a really, really nice day for us. I mean, some people would probably be like super cold, so but we, I mean, obviously are used to it, so. Yeah, now we're gonna head to Yak and Yeti. Get some breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Served. We got You've been served breakfast. a breakfast bowl from the Yak and Yeti Quick Service Place. And then across the way was the Joffrey's coffee. So we got some Joffrey's coffee as well. Joffrey's coffee. Joffrey's coffee. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Make a mess. Don't make a mess. And Dan tried to find us a seat where it would make us have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is. These animals are so cute. <laughs> the polar bear. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> We just did a little look-see at the Arctic animals here at Animal Kingdom. They were so cute. I was able to get a video of some of them. There was a lot of people um, around them at this time. But uh, now it is time for dinosaur. Will we make it? That is the question of the day. No one knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Good news, everybody. We made it. We made it. Yeah. It was a little close. Touch and go for a little while. We made it. It's always like right till the last second. I you know. know you never know. It. You never know. It's like, oh, these the asteroids are are penetrating the Earth and all around you, and you don't know if you're gonna make it or not. Yikes. <laughs> so you now. Should, you should probably work on that. Make it a better, more safer ride, so that you know you're gonna make it every time. Yeah. That uncertainty is not we good. Nev we never know. <laughs> um, so next, we are going to hit up a first for us, and that's Rafiki's Planet Watch. So we've never been over there. I don't know why. We always talk about it. And then we just never seem to actually make it over. So we are going to do that today and rectify the situation. <laughs> are you excited, Dan? Yes. Ride the choo-choo. Oh, cool. the choo -choo. I feel like I did it once, like way back in the day. Way I don't, back. I don't remember anything. Way back in the day. Not that. Long. <laughs> I don't back. know. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Aren't I funny? All right, let's go to the train. <laughs> Stop. 
Planet Watch was pretty fun. Yeah, was Enjoyed pretty looking at all the animals. I definitely would like to do that more often to go in and check on the little guys. It was fun watching. There was a couple um, goats that were like playing around <laughs> and the one was like a big instigator and he kept going after all the other goats. <laughs> it was kind of funny. funny. So. <laughs> so we have about 10 minutes until our Fast Pass window opens for Kilimanjaro Safari, so we're gonna take a little jaunt on the Gorilla Exploration Trail. Should be fun. Last time we saw gorillas, oh, a gorilla flinging poop. So uh, maybe we'll see some poop flinging again. So. We saw the baby. Super cute. Little baby. Um, no poop was flung during this exploration. It's a good thing. Well, maybe. Um, Not a good thing for comedic purposes, but a good right, thing. Right, right. <laughs> and now we are off to our safari fast pass. Um, there was a gaggle of people that were standing in the fast pass hut. And I felt bad for the cast member because she's like, she must have told him at least three times while we were standing there for the short time that we were there to please move out of the hut unless you are entering. And they just blatantly disregarded what she was saying. <laughs> so I feel bad. Cast members, if you're watching, love you. You do a great job all the time. And we're sorry for those people <laughs> that you have to deal with. <laughs> on the right and crossing in front of us. This is some 
greater kudu. Now these are female greater kudu because they do not have any horns. Only males are gonna have horns. But now the kudu and the bongo here, they are both actually related to each other and they're both gonna share those stripes on their back as you can see here. So the stripes that they have are gonna help them with something called disruptive camouflage. On the left hand side out here, just by the island, looks like a couple Nile hippopotamus out there. A group of hippos is called a bloat of hippos, which is a very fitting name for them. Mm -hmm. But despite that silly name, their large size and their cute faces, Nile hippo are actually the number one most dangerous animal in Africa. Nile crocodiles can actually get up to speeds of about 25 miles per hour. Wild dog, also called the painted dog or the painted wolf, they get that name because of the unique coloration on their coats, looks like a painting. Each one of the coats is completely unique, just like our fingerprints. No two are the same, that's how they tell each other apart. Now a lot of times you're gonna see giraffes out here doing what they do best, their favorite pastime, which is going to be eating. They eat a lot during the day. Giraffes can eat anywhere about 16 to 20 hours a day, just eating. Your turn. <laughs> She's watching over. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna sneak by Polly Polly. Mm -hmm. Maybe this time we wanna stick with the direction. Mm -hmm. oh, sounds good. As you can see, it looks like she's tossing all that dirt and mud up onto her back with that large trunk that's called a dust bath. They do that to protect their sensitive skin, kind of like a natural sunscreen. She's going to go out with any other females in the pride. They're going to hunt together. The good of that pride. Male stays back. He keeps a watch over the territory and any cubs that they may have as well. As you can see, to get a little closer to the ground, sometimes those warthogs do drop down on their front knees. And they are burrowing animals. They do back into burrows though, so that their tusks are out front. It is their first line of defense. All right. After our safari, we decided to hit up the Maharaja jungle trek. We got to see the tiger a little bit. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Tiger is. I like tigers. There's the monkeys. Tigers are fun. <laughs> the monkeys are playing, chilling, chilling out, Max and relaxing, all cool and What up, y'all? Just hanging around. <laughs> the monkeys are hanging, and we are going to use our multiple experience pass from earlier today when Everest was down to go on Everest right now. And you meet some Yeti. Yep. Yeah. Well, he's not going to get us. I don't know. He might. He never does. You never know. He well, might get us this time. No, we're that good. Maybe he rested up this morning and so now he's... In preparation. Yeah, that's why it was down earlier and now he's ready to get us. I don't think so. I don't know. You will never get this. You will, you will not get this. All right. What naps? Head naps. We must have made it out alive from the Yeti since now we're going to be eating some dinner. We survived. We did. We decided on flame treat. We got the pulled pork mac and cheese. All right. Yummy! Let's eat! Alright, our dinner at Flame Tree was pretty good, huh Dan? Yeah, it was really good. I would have enjoyed my mac and cheese and pulled pork just a little bit on the hotter side. But other than that, it tasted good though. It tastes really good. Sorry, I ran into you. <laughs> anyways, anyways. It's all on camera. It is on camera. Ah. Um, so we are heading out of Animal Kingdom for the day. We are going to go back and put on some long pants because it's kind of chilly and it's going to get chillier tonight. Yeah, because 
Yeah, because we are going to Hollywood Studios tonight for some Christmas festivities. And we're also gonna go get some ice cream beforehand, so. It'll be even chillier. It'll be even chillier. <laughs> it's fine, we're fine. It's cool. It's fine, we're fine. It's fine, we're fine. <laughs> it's fine, we're fine. Hashtag, it's fine, it's we're fine. fine. We're fine.